and this is on cream and gel liners from the drugstore and the three brands that I'm going to be reviewing is the L'Oreal Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner in Black, the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black, and the Wet n Wild Cream Liner in Black. And um, in this video, I'm just going to be commenting on their pigmentation, um, how long they last, creasing, and things like that. So if you want to see this review, then stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about each product separately, and then I'm going to compare and contrast them. So first off is the Maybelline Eye Studio, and I got this from the drugstore at Walmart, and I just wanted to try it out. And it's, it's okay. Um, it came with this brush. Each of them came with their own brush. And this one came with a brush like this. It's more of a dome shape, a sharp dome shape instead of a, um, like a angled brush that the others come with. And this one's longer. And the quality of the brush is not that great. So I just kept it to show you guys, but I really don't like this brush. Just letting you guys know the brush isn't that great. And this one is different from the other two because this is a gel liner. The other two are cream liners. So this one's gel, which I thought would be better because it says it's oil-free and has intense color. And also says that it is smudge-proof and waterproof. Um, for me, it is not smudge-proof at all. Um, just letting you guys know, I have oily lids and things like pencil liners don't stay on my... Um, on my lash line without creasing and yeah this is just the same as me using a pencil liner it creases like immediately um, it doesn't really matter if I set it with powder it'll just crease on me and it'll just transfer to um, my crease from my lash line and um, as for the pigmentation it is not very good. I'd give it maybe like a 3 out of 5 for pigmentation. And yeah, I just think it's not that great as they portray it on TV and stuff like that. So that's just my opinion. This is supposed to be black as black, but it is not very black to me. As for the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner in Black. That's how that looks. Um, I've used it quite a bit. It comes in a nice glass pot like the other one. I should have shown you, but the Maybelline Studio kind of is a smaller looking glass jar. And that's how that looks. As you can see, I barely used it because I didn't really like it too much. That's the gel liner. And going back to the L'Oreal Hip. Um, cream liner. This is a cream liner. Um, the other one was gel. This is a cream and it's very very rich and creamy. It's very pigmented. For this I'd give a 5 out of 5 for the pigmentation. It's very smooth when you apply it. That's what I really like. It's very smooth. Um, when you put it on your lash line it dries in a matte finish so it's kind of a dull looking um, eyeliner. It doesn't have like a sheen. It's very matte so if you're into that that's really great. Um, the only thing with this too is when I put it on my top lid it creases also so I don't know if it's just me but I'm just saying if you have oily lids this will crease on your top lid but I love this because it works great on my bottom lash line and on my waterline and it stays put. It's very pigmented and smooth because I don't want to put anything that's going to be too damaging to my eyes, like my lower lash line. So I use this because it's very smooth and easy for me to control when I put on my bottom lash line. The brush that it comes with is fairly okay. It looks like this. It's very small. And this one is an angled brush. Very nice. Very dense. The only thing is it's I think it's kind of too small in width. But that's the um, brush that it comes with. Quality is okay. For the price, it's really great though. And as for the Wet n Wild cream eyeliner that I just recently purchased and I've been testing out for a while. It comes in another glass little pot here and this one's round. 
and that's how that looks inside. And this one comes with like a gray cap instead of the others have a black cap. And this is the brush that it came with. The quality, this one is probably the best brush out of all of them though. It's much wider compared to the um, L'Oreal. Much wider, much, just, it can just cover a larger surface with the Wet and Wild brush. And it's much, much stiffer. So I prefer the Wet and Wild brush. And as for the size, they're about the same. This, the handle, and this is the, this is the uh, Maybelline one. So those are just the three brushes. But going back to the Wet n Wild, um, this one is kind of harder for me to apply because it's not as smooth and it doesn't glide on that great. That's the only problem that I have with this. The, the gel, I mean the cream, I'm sorry, the cream is just very stiff and it just, I feel like I'm just pulling on my eyes just to apply it and it takes two or three coats of this thing to get up pigmented color so the pigmentation I'd give like a 2 out of 5 for this wet and wild one um, that's that's just my problem with this but I'm gonna keep using it testing it out um, this also did crease on my eyelid also toward the inside of my eyelid so it might just be my oily eyelids and I'm just I shouldn't be using cream liners but for the bottom lash line this is also great the only thing is, like I said, it makes me tug and pull at my um, at my skin, so that's really something that concerns me. And since it's not as pigmented, it takes me longer to apply, or I have to put more layers of this to get the pigmentation that I'd like. So it takes me longer in the morning to apply this. So that's the only downside to this Wet n Wild one. So again, as for pigmentation, how I would rate these, um, let's see. First, the best pigmentation is the L'Oreal Hip Cream Eyeliner. Very pigmented, very creamy. And then would be my Wet n Wild. Would be the second one. And the one with the least pigmentation is this Maybelline Eye Studio. Just because it's a gel, even though it says it's supposed to be dramatic and really intense line it's really not that intense to me so this would be my last in the pigmentation area as for the consistency of them um i think the wet and wild one is the hardest one to glide easily i mean it just doesn't glide easily it's just not very smooth even though this is supposed to be a cream eyeliner the gel is probably second I mean, it is gel, so it does glide easier than this cream, but the L'Oreal Hip is very creamy, like, it's just so creamy and smooth, so this L'Oreal Hip wins in the best consistency and pigmentation, easy to apply, so that's that. Um, as for just creasing on my lid, that's just my main concern is the creasing on my lids because, you know, you don't want to have this these raccoon eyes and have the transfer of the um, liner onto your eyelid. For the pigmentation, I wanted to show you guys swatches of it. So, the first one here is the Maybelline Eye Studio. And as you can see, it fades out really quickly. And the middle one is a L'Oreal Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner, which is very pigmented. And since it's so creamy, it just glides really nicely, as you can see. And last is a Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner, which is like kind of in the middle of the two, I guess. And this one, like I said, it the pigmentation varies throughout. It's not as pigmented as the L'Oreal Hip Color Truth Eyeliner, so... Yeah, that's just seeing them in comparison to each other. I'm just going to take my water bottle and dip my finger in some water and just run my finger 
through the three here back and forth. As you can see the first one here which is the um, Maybelline Eye Studio just completely came off and the second and the third the L'Oreal Hip and the Wet n Wild still stayed intact so yeah. <laughs>